and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be turning this into this. Hell yeah. So I've got my wine because strawberry wine is needed when you're making oak leaf wine. I haven't worked out why, but it's good stuff. Mmm. Still tastes like fresh strawberries. So if you're interested in that one, you can stop the video because there'll be a link up there and then you can come back. So, we're making oak leaf wine. I made some a couple of years back and I watched the video and it is kind of amazing to see the difference in, um, yeah, in everything. Myself, the video quality, pretty much everything, but I've come a long way, so just bear that in mind. So, for this recipe, what you're going to need is one litre and a quarter of fresh young oak leaves. Now fresh young oak leaves don't have that waxy layer on it. Um, you can use them, they just make a completely different wine. This wine is going to be, I'm hoping, going to be drier than the last one because I'm not a great fan of the sweet, but it should have sweetness in it so let's see if this works. So we've got a litre and a quarter of fresh young oak leaves. I'm using the same lemon, well obviously not the same, but a lemon to add some acidity to it. Now the main change that I have made from the original recipe to the new one is I actually went and got winemaker's grape concentrate. Now it is made from Italian grapes, it contains sugars and it adds extra body and a bit of extra flavour. Um, so you can tell that in theory this is as close to mainstreaming I'm going to get. But um, hopefully this should make an even better wine than before. And of course I'm using a cheeky kilo of sugar. The yeast I'm going to be using is the Simple Express Wine Yeast Compound. Um, yeah, nothing really uh, I can say about that. It is just a clean fermenting yeast. It can be used for anything. Now hopefully I shouldn't need to add any yeast nutrient because this stuff contains all of the nutrients and you know the sugar and some acidity to balance everything out. So in theory this should work rather well. Now I will be using my 5 litre water container. This is because I actually want 6 bottles instead of 5.5 bottles and then have to top up the last one. I don't see the point, just use a slightly bigger fermenter. Jobs are good. So I've gone ahead, I've set up my pan because well we need to cook these bad boys and I've also went ahead and peeled the lemon peel off. Now in goes my cheeky oak leaves. Mm and the extra oak leaves too. Now they could have a few little bits in there, uh, the twigs, but as long as you get most of it, it's okay as it turned out from my epic oak leaf wine. So I've got my kettle. I'm gonna boil this for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna add in my lovely orange, uh, orange peel, my lemon peel. So uh, here we go. And at the minute, since we're making a 5 litre batch, as long as you use under 5 litres of water, you're going to be fine. Here goes my yeah, one and a half litres. Mmm, cooking the oak leaves. So this has now been boiling away or simmering away for about 15 minutes now. So it's time to add in our lemon peel. Da, 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 da. Now, try and remove as much of the white as possible, but if you get a little bit on there, it doesn't matter. So for those people that are wondering what it smells like, it actually smells really good now. It's got a plant-like smell, but at the same time, when you add in the lemon, wow, that smells really good. Predominantly lemon, but at the same time, it's got a kind of plant vegetable smell. It's a very odd one. Um, it has a very odd flavor, but at the same time, it's a really nice flavor once it's fermented. Who would have known? So uh, another five minutes, and then I'm gonna squeeze in my lemon juice through a funnel. Now you may have noticed that I haven't sterilized anything so far apart from my five liter water container. If you're using a fresh, brand new five liter water container, you don't need to sterilize it. But um, if, if you're not, then you do. Back in five. 
It's been another cheeky five minutes. The lemon is there in the background now. It's not so much in your face. Obviously, if you really like uh, citrus, then add this in right at the end while it's still hot, but off. So in goes my lemon juice, because I don't want to destroy the lemons. And the reason that I'm using a funnel is one, I muller the lemon. And two, I don't want to be um, bits. The more bits you have in your alcohol, the more likely it is to puke. And um, I, I don't like puking. Don't like having to clear it up. So uh, this little extra step of using a cheeky, uh, what's the word? Colander, not colander, sieve. Um, keeps all the bits in there large so we don't have to worry about puking. And I get to lick my hands. Um, lemon. For a change, I am prepared. Now I have sanitized slash sterilized my workshop. The funnel, the bowl, the thingamajiggy, even though I didn't need to do that because I'm only taking out the oak leaves. I'm also gonna be adding the sugar into this hot solution because it's easier. You can dump it in there and mix it all around, but it takes longer. So uh, I'm just gonna use my noodle thing. And I'm gonna take out these lovely oak leaves. There we go. So in goes my kilo of sugar. Well, this solution is still pretty damn hot. One cheeky kilo. With a bit of leaf material in there to spare. So, let's put this in. So, now I've stirred it until it's turned back into a clear liquid. Smells pretty good too, kind of citrusy with uh, hints of some type of plant. You wouldn't know it was oak. Anyway, it works out well in the end. So, now it's time to prepare our demijohn. So, it has been sterilized and rinsed. Does not smell of bleach. And I've got my sterilized jug, which I'm gonna add in roughly two liters of water into it. This is so that when we pour in the uh, cooling down now, but still really hot uh, liquid, it equals itself out. If you're using a glass demijohn, uh, pouring hot liquids into it, bad plan as well. Could smash. So before we finish adding in our two liters of water, it's time to add in the grape concentrate. Smells sticky and sweet. Oh. <laughs> I dropped in the plastic. Oh well, I'll fish it out when it's at the top. So I'm going to rinse it out using my second litre of water. Because, you know, I paid for this, so I'm, I'm going to get all of the goodness out. There we go. Add in my, finish adding in my second liter with a little bit of floating plastic because who doesn't need a bit of floating plastic in their wine? So now it's time to add in a liqueur to it. So I've got my sieve. And there we go. This one's good. So I've still got some bits in here, but like I said, removing the bits is good. So in this goes kind of has a green look to it, but that's okay. Looking pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a cheeky top up to about here, uh, the five litre mark. Uh, one, because I know this isn't gonna puke, and two, I can put the hydrometer in and fish out that bit of plastic. Lame. So I've topped this up to the five litre mark, as you would, and I fished out that piece of plastic uh, so if you are using these, take off the plastic before you pour it in. Live and learn. So I've put my hydrometer in to save having to watch me bob around. And it is actually saying 1.080. So just have a quick, quick check. So if this ferments to dryness, it's about 12 and a half percent. I'm hoping it won't. I do like a bit of sweetness with this. You know what it kind of reminds me of? You know, if I was going to think about it in a different way, Oak contains a lot of tannin, so in a way, this is kind of like a tea wine. Different lines, but at the same time, yeah, what do you think about that? So it's time to add in 
uh, yeast. Now, in theory, this has got yeast nutrient in it, but the grape juice concentrate should have enough in there, according to them. So in goes a cheeky teaspoon. On goes my lid, little quarter turn. There we go. Oop. And we are done. So yeah, I only just figured that. It could be like a tea wine. That's why the oak leaf seems to work really well. Who knew? So this is gonna now sit for about a month or until it turns clear again. And we're gonna come back and bottle it up. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, don't forget to check out the other videos, comment, subscribe, you know, do, do the usual, and uh, keep on homebrewing. See you later.